Ladies, welcome back to another day with Kay. It's your girl Jaquela. In today's video, as you guys can tell by that title, we are tapping into the fashion side of who Call Me K is. And yeah, I'm so excited. Stay tuned because I have three more hauls coming right off the bat. So today's video is just affordable basics. So you already know I'm going to support the baddies on a budget 110% because I am a baddie on a budget. Love to tap into my luxury side, but I love to also save me a coin. I've been seeing this all over YouTube and I've been obsessed and been wanting to do this for you guys. So here we are. Um, I was waiting on my camera and I have my camera... Hopefully, I meet a lot of other girls who has the same style as me, the same fashion sense. I love a good green. I love a good earth tones, earth colors, a good brown, black forever be my favorite, neutrals, basics, basics, basics. And modesty, classy look. I grew up Pentecostal holiness throughout my whole entire childhood, hence no piercing. So if you're a Pentecostal girl and you want to look cute and fashionable then go ahead and follow me girl and if not just come over here and enjoy the vibe so first things first we're gonna get into the coats and jackets since they're already here hanging up behind me and the first coat that we have is just this black trench coat that we got from boohoo it's faux leather i'm not sure on the pricing but i would either put the pricing on the screen probably on the screen if not on the screen in the description box but this was, I got this in a boohoo, in a boohoo, I got this in a US 10 coats and jackets. I'm realizing that I do need to size down because like I said, I only wear skirts and dresses. So sometimes I don't want that baggy feel. So when it comes to like pullovers, hoodies, all those type of things, I go ahead and size down, girl. This jacket in like a couple of my trench coats i did not size down which i regret i wish i would have sized down because they're humongous on me but this one i actually don't mind because this actually i kind of wanted it to fit off of the shoulders and look really nice and really look really droopy so this kind of does what it needs to do but this is an essential in your wardrobe if you want the basic to the basic wardrobe a black leather trench coat is a must-have in your wardrobe everybody that you see on the instagram reels that's known for fashion is going to have a black trench girl this is like the essential to start in your closet if you don't have a black trench get you a black trench zara h&m aso so the next item is just this brown chocolate trench coat this is actually from forever 21 if you guys have me on instagram if not go ahead and follow your girl and let me know that you're from youtube i have actually did a reel with this trench coat i actually bought this in a ox it actually fits really nice like i wouldn't have sized up or sized down the only downfall i have with this is that it doesn't go all the way down to the ground it kind of goes mid calf but it does have the tie um and then it kind of has the short back so it does give like that old money luxury type vibe but i can tell you 100 i'm gonna be 100 real girl in honest this does not feel like the highest quality like you can kind of tell like this is that quality that if you leave it in the sun too long you're gonna be peeling <laughs> you're gonna smell like smoke <laughs> but it's still gonna give off that aesthetically pleasing vibe you can get your pictures girl you actually can wear this like in the real cold when you're actually chilly you know not cold cold because you're gonna freeze but a little chilly and still get the cute type of look that you're going for so next trench coat and the last trench coat is just this olive green trench coat that comes from pretty little thing it just has the fur on the inside this gets you really really cozy and this is a heavy coat like i'm not playing with this jacket like i'm supposed to be doing an atlanta trip soon um i'm supposed to be doing a virginia trip soon so this one probably is going to be taken to virginia just for a simple fact of this coat is built for some snow baby the quality on this is like a one i'm absolutely in love with this it's like this shiny texture on the outside and this actually wraps up as you guys can see and this is really hard to show you guys so i'm definitely just gonna have to let you guys see the try on portion of this jacket and yeah i absolutely love this jacket not too much to say i feel like this jacket is a 10 out of 10 um this one i also got in a size 10 but i definitely could have sized down wish i would have sized down so 
Um, I'm learning, of course, that jackets run bigger and in whatever type of fit that you're looking for, you just have to. Okay. So last jacket to show you guys is just this charcoal looking denim type of jacket. I'm obsessed with this jacket. This one is a cropped one. I want to get like a leather one. But like if you wear black as much as I do, sometimes you don't want to keep putting on black. Or if you wear an all black outfit and you kind of want to spice it up a bit. I feel like this breaks up that colorway. And I also feel like this looks good with any dark color, neutral, greens, just anything like it just sets the tone, especially if you're going for more of that grunge aesthetic. This would definitely do what you need it to do. It's the stress. And it's also from Shein. Like one of my favorite purchases from Shein. And this is in a size large. Next thing we're going to move on to is dresses. I only have one dress to show you guys. And I only have one skirt. So after I show you this dress, I'm going to show you this skirt. So like I've been saying a thousand times, I wear skirts and dresses. So one way that I choose to stay warm in the winter and fall time with my dresses is by buying sweater dresses. This right now is the only sweater dress that I have. I used to have more. Um, I also used to have a lot of two-piece sweater sets, but like I said, I did gain some weight. I can't fit them anymore. This is the only one that I can fit, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I'm happy I can still fit this one because this one is like a olive green color. This one also has pockets. Where's the front? on the front and i feel like this with some like snuggy socks from like target um would look so cute with some uggs so yeah this is really really cozy this is from shein and i got this a couple of years ago i want to say but they do still have sweater dresses on their website so if you just type in sweater dress long sleeve sweater dress maxi sweater dress this will pop up. I believe this is in a medium, but I could be mistaken. But like I said, I bought this a while ago, so it doesn't have a tag on it for me to show you guys the size. So, I don't know. This is by far one of my favorite outfits that I wore on my Instagram so far. But it's just this, um, what are they called? Um, I don't know what these are called. What are these called? Y'all, I can't remember the name of these type of skirts, but y'all know what these is. Basically, this is the skirt version of the pants version that everybody is wearing right now. I don't even remember the name of them, but it just looks like this. It's from Shein, and I got it in a size large. And it cinches at the waist, so I'm good, and I like that baggy look and baggy feel. I kind of hate this material. Like, it's like a windbreaker material why am i saying material like that material material but i'm i love this like i love when i wear this i love wearing them with my donks and i feel like they're super cute it actually has a zipper on the side that is functional and i really like this i actually have a lot more um what is this called i cannot think of the name of these but i actually have a couple of more of these but this is the only one that i really wear um, I have one more that I try to wear, but I don't really like how it fits on me. Um, I did do an Instagram reel with it on, but I've never wore it out. So that's the only one that I've actually worn out. So next, we're just going to move on to the shirt slash tops. So this is just a sweater. This is a pullover. And this one is actually from Pretty Little Thing. I'm actually going to turn the brightness down some so y'all can actually see the full color of this like this is the color it's really really cute you guys i love this light wash type of tan look it's like a nude and i wear this all the time like pretty little things quality if y'all say pretty little thing has poor quality you sleep like i feel like pretty little thing is like one of the top fast fashion places where you know your clothes are going to be quality clothing like yeah, I don't know. At least everything that I buy is like worth my money. I ordered it in black as well, so you guys will see that in the upcoming haul. This one I actually did size down and get it in the eight, and it's still too big. So I definitely think that if you're gonna get this and you want more of a, even if you want the oversized fit, you can still size down because this is like humongous. Um, I'll pull this out of my closet and wear this all the time. I'm obsessed with it. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
would buy every color if I could. Alright you guys, so the next shirt that I have is just this basic top. Is that something on this one? What's the tag? I don't know. But just this basic chocolate brown top. This is actually a bodysuit. Literally every shirt that's in my closet is a bodysuit. I don't know if it's just me or if you guys feel like this too. I just feel like I look so elegant when I <laughs> when I have on a bodysuit. Like I feel like I'm not dressed for real to my full potential unless it's a bodysuit. So this one is actually from Shein. So for my Shein babes, they definitely have a lot of basics. I actually posted this on my TikTok. And I want to say my Instagram and it blew up on my Instagram. <clears throat> and a lot of people were asking me on TikTok, where did I get these basics from? And they are from Shein, girl. And I bought them in every single color. So like I said, I'm trying to buy a dress more modest. So I kind of got the high neck rounded ones. I did have a low cut ones but like i said those are more revealing so i went and stocked up on every fall slash winter color basic that i could possibly come up with in the quarter length sleeves high rise like i said it's a bodysuit this one is just chocolate i actually have this one on which is like another color of brown i got black i got white i got this color green girl i got it all <laughs> but yes now these are true cotton so i'm obsessed with them all of them besides the black one, they all came from the same like company. So I don't know why the black one is like that spandexy type of material. I hate that material. Sometimes I love it. But I really wanted some cotton basics. So I got these. Somebody was telling me for some better quality ones to go look at Urban Outfitters. So I'm definitely going to do that because these are great and they do do what they need to do. But they're easy to stain, hard to wash. Um and you know how clothes start to look like you wash them too many times these definitely get that white frizzy bally type things and i don't know how to wash that off like i don't know how to get rid of that so honestly i'm just going to start investing in more quality basic tops and things like from different places um so that way I can have them forever and a long time and I don't have to keep rebuying basics. So I feel like that's the only thing with affordable basics is that they are, you know, the cheaper ones. Once you wear them a couple of times, you're going to find yourself buying some more within the long run. So it's probably better to just invest in some more quality ones so that way you can have them for years to come. So the next top is just a long sleeves basic. This is definitely, I feel like, an essential to layering. Like long sleeves, of course, another bodysuit. <laughs> this one is from Pretty Little Things, but I got this in a US 10. Like I said, this one is like the same color as this jacket, but it's picking up so whitewashed on camera. Um, I'll turn the brightness down again so you guys can see the true color. So yeah. So this one is more so of that color. It's super duper cute. Um, yeah, I just feel like simple long sleeves bodysuits or just long sleeve basics are definitely an essential to have in your closet. So moving on, we're gonna move on to the purses, the affordable purses. I only have two for you guys to show you. That's on my affordable side. So the first thing is the more trendier option and it is just a black tail for. I also have the dark green one, but I got it in a size small because I feel like this one is way more like classy, elegant, dainty. I love the big ones, um, but I'm just not a big purse girl. Like if you notice all of my purses are the biggest you're going to get is this. I really don't care for big purses. I'm going to try to get into maybe a bigger purse. Like the biggest purse I got is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. But I don't even wear it as a purse. I wear it as a carry-on on the plane. So I love how this just scrunches up. But I don't like that you can't take these long scraps off. But I don't know. I feel like it just classifies the look and it just gives it that look. Well, the next option we have is actually the Coach Tabby purse. This is also showing up really bright. So I'm going to cut the brightness down to show you guys. So this one is in the color pistachio. So this one is actually on sale at Saks Fifth Avenue. So if you go look on Saks, you can probably get this one for all of like two. No, like yeah, all of $200. 
and y'all know these run for about $400 they're really really expensive so yeah girl go ahead and get you a earth tone coach purse for the cheaper price don't say I didn't put you on to nothing like I said I love this bag but the other ones were a little bit too big so I got the smaller version this is the only version I feel like they have on Saks Fifth anyway so this did what it needed to do I did not know it was gonna be this tiny though I probably would have just gonna have with the other size because my mom has the bigger size and this one is so small compared to her so honestly if I was to ever get another one I'll probably get the bigger version because that one is not too big I only have three pairs of shoes to show you guys so first we're gonna start with these boots so this is the first boot that I feel like is an essential in your wardrobe as you guys so I just had to let my camera cool off but these boots are everywhere you can buy them from everywhere these specifically came from pretty little thing these were only like $20 and I had to hunt them down for my kids you know that I was having a sale I think this was like the oh my gosh 50 sale I had to hunt them down to give me my shoes because FedEx lost my shoes and I needed these boots I feel like everybody and their mom buys these boots for like fall and winter essentials everybody compliments me when i go like luxury shopping in these boots these are just like the key black boots essential platform black boots that are basic like you know you got your high heel your knee high your thigh high your calf high <laughs> and all of the above but i feel like for a nice basic sturdy looks very elegant very classy boot you're gonna do the big platform boots you can buy these from zara if you want the more higher quality but i honestly feel like the pretty little thing quality is key nobody can tell i always get nice compliments on them i do need to clean them because they do scuff up easily but i love these i wear these boots every single day like i don't care what i have on i wear them every single day so the next two things that I have to show you guys, which are actually the last two things that I have to show you guys, are these donks. Now, hear me out. I know this is very, very basic, but that's why they're in this haul. I feel like these are the key to success when you're first starting out your closet like don't get me wrong i'm definitely a beginner closet i don't bought so many pointless things that i actually like but i had to learn that just because i like something doesn't mean it's 100 percent my style and doesn't mean that i'm 100 percent like it on me i had to learn that just because i like it doesn't mean i need to buy it if i can't vividly plant see an item and plan out at least two outfits with those items off rip maybe one thing that i would like to purchase with the outfit and one thing that i already have at home then it does not need to be in my closet because i feel as if i waste so much money buying things that i like but it's not my style um a hundred percent or it's not something that i can really picture myself wearing where these black ones to the ground they need to be cleaned as you guys can see i have never cleaned these um <laughs> that's one thing that i never had to do in the past so now i'm just like okay girl you gotta clean your shoes you ain't got nobody clean your shoes no more so <laughs> these are like the essential like when you're looking at the i love elevated streetwear that's like if i'm not dressing classy i'm doing elevated streetwear and i feel like this is an essential to streetwear if you go to any streetwear fashion person that's more on the trendy side they're gonna have these everybody new mama has a nice pair of black and white shoes mine is particularly these dunks and then i love the dunks so much that i decided to get them in the lime green and white pair and i just feel like lime green olive green and white pair that is it you guys if you guys would like for me to do a part two then go ahead and comment down below let your girl know whatever you like to see on this channel i apologize for all of the stopping you guys my camera has cut off literally every 30 seconds it literally just cut off again and i'm not sure what's going on but i apologize and i promise to get my quality 100 percent a1 <laughs> because i can't do this and i want to give out quality content for you guys so if you made it this far in the video i appreciate you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and without further ado i'll see you guys in the next video bye